Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel again. This is the second reading I'm going to do for you guys today, so how about we just do another one? I know that the first one may not resonate with everybody because it's very specific. So I figured I have time today, so let's just, you know, um, replace basically the reading that I couldn't do yesterday with an additional one today. So let's see. Let's see what additional messages are coming through for Pisces. Universe, please, please speak to Pisces through these cards, through these messages. Bring in all of the relevant information for Pisces. Guys, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Also know that donations are accepted and there's resources below this video. There's resources for those who want to improve their financial life. There's a course that teaches you how to do that energetically. And there's also the Past Life Regression Healing Course, which is super powerful. You can check it out. Both are discounted right now. Universe, please bring in all of the most relevant messages for Pisces. I'm only taking the cards that fall on the table. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What messages, what advice, what needs to come through for Pisces? Alright guys, this is a textured tarot. You can get it on Etsy if you like it. We've got Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys are moving away from hard work into a form of work that is more fulfilling and that is lighter. Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. More abundance with less effort. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. This may not be the preference for everybody, but it's good for you. Seven of Swords. Some people might want to walk away because of the decisions you're making, which are ultimately for your highest good. Let them. Seven of Wands. Defend your point of view and defend what is working for you. The Lovers. Choices made out of love. The Hermit. And last but not least, the Knight of Cups. All right, I'm going to um, bring in some messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, which is lovely. Pisces, Pisces, messages for Pisces regarding this reading. Direct, clear, accurate messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know right now? I'm taking the messages that fall on the table. Are there any messages? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. We've got a change in the wind by the book building blocks soulmates and imagine. Okay, there's so much coming through for this reading, guys. I feel it already. Okay, first, what I'm seeing here with the building blocks and by the book, I feel like you guys are entering a phase of your life or maybe your business or your work or your mission. You know, it could, remember that this could play out in different contexts for every single one of you guys. Know that this may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates with you, okay? And what doesn't resonate with you is probably for another Pisces watching this video, okay? You guys, I think it's safe to say that have left or overcome the darkest period. And now you're building your future. Now you are moving ahead into very positive things, lots of abundance, both emotionally and financially. And it's going better and better and better. And it's going to get better and better and better. So now, now that you're in this space... You have the opportunity 
to think about how you want to build the foundations of your new life. You have a newfound opportunity to do things right, to get organized, to do things by the book in ways that benefit you. So like maybe you've never done your taxes, now you're going to be doing your taxes. Or maybe all of these years have been so difficult emotionally that you haven't been able to maybe take either your business or your home life or your school to the next level. And you've been kind of going through the motions a little bit because of all the emotional disruption that was there. Now it's like there's a change in the wind here. Now you're going to be able to really put your best foot forward. And Pisces, honestly, I feel like many of you haven't been able to do that. You have managed to manifest such success and abundance, prosperity, and good things. But I do feel like you're tapping into like 70% of your potential. Because you've been carrying so much emotional baggage with you. You know what I mean? And that inevitably has taken from you. Energy, concentration, focus. It, it's been... Uh, very taxing. I'm hearing taxing, so there could be taxes. I'm doing my taxes right now, so this is maybe a projection, but I feel like it has been taxing on your energy. All of this emotional disruption, all of these past trauma, everything that you have gone through, in some shape or form, was not letting you do things to the best of your ability. And now, I feel like you're letting that go. With the Eight of Cups here, I feel like you are... Finally, um, oh, there's two cards here. Interesting. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're flying away, like this balloon here. You're flying, rising away from the waves, away from the difficulty. Water is often represented or associated with emotion. So big waves usually speak about emotions being disrupted being very turbulent. And in this illustration, you can see how you're going to be rising above the big waves. It's like the emotional disruption and turbulence is going to be left below. And through this transition, you're finding your path, you're finding your way here with the two of wands in order to, as I mentioned earlier, work less and make more. This is probably related to career, work, education. But maybe for some of you guys, this is related to your body. Maybe in the past, you just, due to all the emotional disruption here, you couldn't take care of your body in the best way. You weren't able to show up for your physical body as you would like because you didn't have, you know, like all of the energy that you needed. Now, it's like you're going to be able to do things by the book. Like, if you have been instructed by your healthcare physician that you need to do this, this, and that, because that's going to help you with a condition, or that's going to help you with your mental health, or that's going to help you with your weight, or a certain um, disease, or something like that. If you've been given directions and haven't been able to fully grasp them and integrate them into your life... Now, with very little effort, you're going to be able to do things by the book and therefore receive the results that you've been wanting to receive for a while. It's beautiful. Some of you guys, guys, as I mentioned, if you have your own business, if you are in charge of your workload, it seems like you're going to be working less, letting go of burdens, Letting go of conflicts, letting go of connections with toxic people. And automatically, without effort, you're going to be finding yourself more and more and more abundant. Love is here. Some of you guys are right now currently in a relationship with a soulmate which is proven to be very beneficial, very beautiful, very supportive, okay? Now is the time for you to protect your connection, if necessary, by honoring it, by taking care of it, doing whatever you know in your heart that you can do to continue 
to allow this connection to flourish. Some of you guys may receive some love offers, maybe from your soulmate, maybe from someone exterior to the current relationship you're in. If you are in a relationship, you may be receiving external offers. If you're not in a relationship, this is the time in which a soulmate, someone who's very beneficial for you, might come around and offer you love. Okay, so be open to it and imagine all of the possibilities that can arise due to that connection, okay? You have been on your own for a while, Pisces. Um, in some shape or form, every Pisces has been a little distant from the connections, okay? So whether that means you haven't been able to hang out with your friends that much, or maybe if that means that you have been a little defensive in your romantic relationship or a little defensive in regards to the whole subject of having a romantic relationship. Um, now it seems like those walls are going to crumble down because you're going to realize how safe you are because you're building a structure for your life that is not based on fear. It is based on love because honestly for years now, Pisces, you had been building lots of structures out of fear because of course you were exposed to a lot of difficult times. So um, now it's like the, that is over, you know, things are good, you are safe, and it might take a while for you to remember that and like come back into an, a conscious, comfortable awareness that you're always safe. That might take a while because some of you guys have gone through trauma, like for real. So it might take a while for the healing to be done, but it, it, it is already almost done for most of us. And now we're building something that's very healthy, that's very, um, very productive. I know guys that you have been enjoying a lot the You Are Luminous cards, so I'm going to be pulling some messages from this deck as well. Universe, what messages do you have? For Pisces, what messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. All right. Not everyone is going to understand me, see me, hear me, or resonate with me, and that's okay. I determine my worth. I am responsible of, of no, I'm responsible, sorry, for my own happiness. Yep. That's what I said at the beginning. Some some people around you are not going to like the fact that you're going to be working less because maybe they benefit from your work. But you are going to be working less and making more money and that is going to serve your energy and it's going to be all things good for you. So if they don't like it, you know, I don't know. They're going to have to deal with it. I believe in my own power to create any life I want. Yes. And now that you're going to be able to show up in a better way and do things by the book and build the blocks of your life, and now that you're going to be able to show up fully, oh my god, you can manifest anything. Look at how much you have manifested, kind of like going through the motions of your life. Now you're going to be able to really step in with your entire heart because you're going to be healed. Just because it hasn't manifested yet doesn't mean it's not on its way to you. Trust in the power you carry to manifest all you're deserving of. Yep. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. <laughs> More alignment that fulfills you. More connection that supports you. More boundaries that honor you. More voice that empowers you. More heart that softens you. More movement that strengthens you. Beautiful. You are the one you've been waiting for. You're writing the script. You are your own savior. You are the empowered, the victorious, the one who never stops overcoming. You are the guiding light. You are the healer. You are the infinite potential. You're the fire and the endless spark. 
You're the radiance. You're the grace and the calm. Bow to your own heart, your own soul. Remember, nothing outside of you isn't inside of you. As above, so below. It's time we worship the sacred self. This deck is so refreshing for my heart. <laughs> Every time I read one of these cards, it's just like a breath of fresh air. This is the You Are Luminous deck. And last message here is, the light is not at the end of the tunnel. It is within you. Alrighty, Pisces. This is what I have for you this time around. I'm going to be doing as many readings as I can, so please stay posted. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you are here as one of the subscribers, and that way you're going to receive notification. This channel is becoming the Pisces Club again, so... <laughs> If you're a Pisces, you just need to be here, honestly. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What else can I tell you? Well, I have left resources for you guys below. In case you want to improve your financial life through energy work, the Abundance Blueprint is in my website. You'll find it under this video. There's also the Past Life Regression Healing Course, which is very powerful. It consists of a class and four therapies in which I guide you. Um, to remember your past lives and remove energetic blockages from your subconscious. If that resonates, check them out. And if you need any help with anything, with your passwords, with your users, with any kind of like techie stuff, you can write to awakenedwildchild um, at gmail.com, okay? So yes, my lovelies, bye!